The Free State uh, ANC PEC is underway in the province and the NEC member Nkosa Zanet Lamini Zuma is addressing the meet. Let's go to it live. Like ACE or whoever, our movement must always come first. We must discuss frankly. Discuss what's going on in the alliance, frankly. Discuss what's going on in the organization, frankly. What's happening in parliament, frankly. Not with the idea of witch hunting or doing whatever, being vindictive and whatever, but with the idea of convincing comrades that this movement belongs to all of us. It's the only heritage collectively Africans have in this country. If we don't protect it, we are destroying the only heritage that we have collectively that our forebearers left for us to use as an instrument to better the lives of our people, to regain the dignity of our people, to regain our land, to share in the wealth of this country. Without the ANC, that cannot happen. I don't care what the opposition says, it will not happen. Any of the opposition leaders taking parties taking power in this country, it will not happen. The DA is not going to happen. We might be taken back as they think colonialism was an advantage for us. So they might want to take us back there to have that advantage that they see, which we never saw. And nobody uh, got punished for that, for saying that and believing that. And the DA could not punish Zile for that because that's what they think, all of them. Yeah. It's just that he, she said it in public. So, comrades, let's defend this organization. Let's defend it even with our lives. Our forebearers got it with their lives. So it's very important that we discuss problems, we correct them, but we move forward united in action. So I hope we can say now, comrades, we have shown you how angry we are. Now, comrades, let's work together. <coughs> let's find a way forward. And I hope these are the things that will be discussed, not only today, but all the time. Because the movement keeps renewing itself, accessing the situation, and working on new tactics. So that's what we must do. And I'm going to just say the ANC have never, has never been afraid of the battle of ideas, within and without. Inside the organization, the battle of ideas is what we have lived on. And the battle of ideas in the broader South Africa. That must be key. Organizational work. Now some of us, we sit, we don't do organizational work. We don't even know. I'm not talking about you because we are coming from branches. I'm talking about myself and others. We don't do organizational work. We don't even know what are the objective and subjective problems that our people are facing on the ground. And we don't know what solutions to bring. We may bring a completely counter solution to what our people on the ground may be looking for. So organizational work is a pillar of any cadre, cadership. If you are a cadre, you do organizational work. You work within structures, not factions. Mm. Mm. 
Our structures are there, they are constitutional. That's how we should work. Because if we work that way, we will not be dividing ourselves. Because we'll all be get, getting the same message from our structures, from our branches, and we'll all be working towards a common agenda. But of course, there is a lot of work that also needs to be done within the state at all levels. Because our cadres are not only in the ANC now. Our cadres are deployed in government from national right to the municipality. And when you are there, you must always remember that you are there to serve the people. You must be responsive to the people's needs. The people are always right. Even if they shout at you, you don't shout back. You say, I, Baba, tell us this more as you I, Ma, the Agus, I got that. Tell us talk. You don't say, hey, we are going to be, I mean, two names in one. You don't do that. We talk to them and convince them. It doesn't mean that we can deliver everything at the same time. But our people are patient, provided we engage them and give them rational explanation why something is not happening now and might happen next year or the year after. So it's very important to be engaging with our people, listening to their needs, but also responding where we can respond and respecting them. Of course, and also using the resources of the state for our people, for the benefit of the people. It's very important. Transparency in our state is very important. And we have to root out corruption both in the state and in the private sector. Because there is corruption in the state but also in the private sector. We must work at all levels to root it out. Because it becomes corrosive, it corrodes the trust of our people. So, and it robs us of the resources. We must also work on our internationalism because the ANC has always been an internationalist organization. And that is very important because even during our struggle, Britain would be doing a triple veto in the Security Council, but the British people would be in the streets in our support. So it's very important to continue doing that international work. So I hope that... And we are listening to ANC NEC uh, member Nkosuzana Dlamini Zuma addressing the meeting of the Free State ANC PEC, calling for the ANC members to come together and work to a common agenda.